What's going on people welcome to your 29th Java game development tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to be going over more of um, the key listener class and what it actually means and what we can do with it and when we implemented the key listener class it gave us pretty much access to the user information via the keyboard now when we implemented this key listener class we need to implement three methods and these methods are pretty much the things that you can do with a keyboard so they're pretty much two different things that you can do with your keyboard you can press buttons and that's a method and you can release buttons that's a method now there's one other method in this that's called key typed and that has it has to do with when you um, giving the typing action like clicking it real quick but we're just pretty much going to do nothing with this because it's useless in games like 99% of the time it's just there because uh, they could put it in there so why not so the first method we have access to since we implemented this key listener is we made a promise that we're going to use this method called key pressed so let's go key pressed right there so let's go ahead and name public void key pressed and what this method does is it's gonna take a key event object key event and that event is you pressing a key on your keyboard so whenever you have E that means the button pressed down it's pretty much the event that happens so now what this method says is alright whenever you press a button on your keyboard this is the method I'm gonna call because that's what I know how to do so whenever you implement this key listener class you have a method that pops up whenever you press a button down this is the code I want to happen so since we got to the code let's give it something to do well the key code first of all well let me go ahead and type this line then my make a little more sense int key code equals e dot get key code right there now let me give you a little background information every key on your keyboard has a key code and this is kind of a weird um, way your computer recognizes the keys on your keyboard and actually my next kind of line will be a lot easier the first thing we're going to want to do is note when they press down the escape key so let me go ahead and I'll show you all these key codes so let's go ahead and put if that key code if the key pressed down if key code is exactly equal to key event dot where is it? vk underscore and here is pretty much all the key codes it's vk underscore and they have some weird things like n would be the n z would be the z button on your keyboard um, undo uh, they have things like alt tab and let's just go ahead and make the one for the escape e s c a p e so this right here is the key code for escape so if key code is exactly equal to escape so let me run you guys through um, real quick what's gonna happen it's gonna take a key event whenever you press down a button and that button is gonna be stored pretty much as E so every button has a code and the code for the escape button is VK underscore escape and so you're gonna say alright if the button you press down if that key code is equal to the escape button so if you press down the escape button what do you want to do well what we want to do is pretty much just stop our entire program and if you're wondering alright why did I call the stop method right here and we didn't build a stop method in this class yet well remember we inherited from this core class which pretty much gave us all these methods and since we did we were able to call this stop method right here and all it does is set running equal to false and what that would do is in our game loop while we put while true or while running it would set while false and it would stop running this entire code so that is pretty much all we have to do for right there and that's just pretty much saying alright if the button you press down if the key code is equal to the escape button then stop the program but what do we want to do if the button is not equal to the key code so let's go ahead and make else for if you press down anything 
besides the escape button, what do we want to do? Well, first of all, let's go ahead and change our message because that's pretty much what we're here for. Um, let's go ahead and press and put a semicolon because it looks nice. And now after this, you can just add a little plus key event dot get key text and key code right there. And what this is going to do is it's going to what get key text means is pretty much well, you'll see it's pretty much simplicity for if you press down the J button, it's going to say pressed H. If you press down L, it's going to go pressed L. And that's pretty much the key text. And as a parameter, you want your key code, of course. And we set that equal to the key code right here, which is pretty much your button. Anytime I say key code, it pretty much means your button. Just key code is what your Java calls it. And the last thing we need to do that's the only weird thing is consume our keys. Now, here's what consume means. And don't forget to put it on E, which is your button. What consume means is sometimes when you're working with your keyboard and stuff, aside from tab, you can also get some weird things with like alt and stuff like that. And what alt does is if you remember in some applications, if you put alt F or alt C or alt something, like alt F would make the file appear. So some keys can be used in combination with other keys to do something weird. And we don't want our co computer program to be waiting for other key combinations to happen. What we want to do is say, all right, when you press Alt, it's an Alt. When you press T, it's a T. When you press F, it's an F. So instead of for waiting for other combinations of buttons and stuff like that, it just takes the button you pressed, which is the E, and it just consumes it. So it says, all right, this is E. I'm going to eat it. What up? I'm going to eat it up. What's next? All right, this is all. I'm going to eat it up. What's next? So that's pretty much what consume does. Um, that's the only other weird thing we have to go over for now. So that's all you get for this tutorial. There are two other methods we implement. Again, like I said, whenever you press down a key, Java is automatically going to call this key pressed method right here. And what it does is it takes the button's code. It checks if it's the escape. If it is, it's going to stop your program. And if it's not, it's going to print out a little message that says you pressed that button. And then it's going to eat the button right up and not wait for another combination or anything like that. So since we have key pressed, we need to give it an event when you release the key. And also we need to take care of that other key type. And last but not least, we need to do our draw method to draw that message on the screen. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next tutorial.